Look who is back. How was the fishing today? I see you haven't brought back any fish. Catch and release. May I see a menu, please? We'll see. Okay, is this about the thesis thing? Because I already told you I'm on vacation. A spy would say that. I am not here to spy. Look, if a dentist was here on vacation, would you think that he was obsessively looking at your teeth? No, I have excellent oral hygiene. But of course, you probably already knew that. <sighs> what was that about? She's a spy. She works for CSIS. That's crazy. Who told you she works for CSIS? She did. Well, if she's a spy, she's not a very good one. What's she doing in Mercy? Fishing, or so she says. But obviously, she's here to spy on the moths. That is what they do. But I haven't seen her around the moths. Exactly. She is that good. Let me ask you something. I hired Rayanne to work at the store. You hired Rayanne? Yes. Why do you ask like that? <sighs> when she worked here, she was a tyrant. I don't understand. She's usually so nice. A cash register is a dangerous weapon in the wrong hands. It makes some people mad with power. Excuse me, am I getting a menu or not? No. I always thought working from home was a bad idea, but it seems to be working great for Yasser. Uh -huh. Plus, he cooked me a great dinner. He seems so relaxed. I don't know. Made me kind of wish I worked from home. But this story, you're making me wish you worked from home, too. Can I work from home? No. Oh, come on. I'm sure it'd be a cost saving. Absolutely not. I need my people where I can keep an eye on them. Well, that's too bad, because you just signed papers saying I could work from home. Well, that's not going to work. Just because I signed something without looking doesn't mean it's binding. It's not MASH. Fine. Let's take it to the Board of Review. Okay. So when I sign a piece of paper without looking at it, the results are binding and irreversible. You got your home office. And a race. Really? You signed a lot of papers. <laughs> huh. Something is up. We are a target. Okay, this is getting stupid. I'm gonna go talk to him. Hi. I'm Amar. Wow. This is very flattering, but, um, I'm not really looking for a vacation ship right now, so... Vacation relationship? Look, my friend Fatima thinks you're here to spy on us. Why would I spy on a cafe? Oh, no, the mosque. Oh, you have a mosque in town? Yeah, I'm the imam. I bet you don't have a beard. That's been pointed out to me many times. Well, I wouldn't worry. I doubt you're on anybody's radar. Good. What do you mean? Well, it's no secret that the government monitors some mosques, but they're usually, you know, big, professionally run mosques in major centers. You know, real mosques. We have 30 people. Mm-hmm. To be a hotbed, you need 40. 30 can be a hotbed? No, you can't. It's a rule. 30 can be a breeding ground. So oh, we could be a breeding ground. Well, extremism tends to be fostered by an intense, charismatic leader. So, no worries. What did you find out? That I like charisma. You needed a spy to tell you this? What's going on? Just a typical shift. Oh, I see what's going on here. People don't want to buy from a woman. People around here can be so sexist. Just when you think you're changing things, something like this happens. Hi, Ryan. Can I help you with something? She's doing my shift. Package of figs, please. My first day as a home office worker. This is fun. Working side by side, leaning on each other when things get tough. Eating a big breakfast. Huh. Most important meal of the day. Good for productivity. And it's all about productivity. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, breakfast, honey. Care to join us? It's noon. I'm home for lunch. Uh, we may have slept in a bit. Well, productivity is about pacing yourself. Pacing. Ooh, can I try one of your sticky buns? Mmm. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Would you say I'm an intense and charismatic leader? Uh, yeah, sure. What did you want to talk to me about? <clears throat> right. 
I've been thinking we should get someone else to take your shifts at the store. That is so sexist. No, it's not. It's just that you have no aptitude for it. It's aptitudist. Ouch. Okay, all right. I may have been a little harsh on people, but I have a plan. Candy. That girl who hangs out at the bus station? No. Halal candy. I'm going to get a candy rack and fill it with non-gelatin-based, Islamically permissible confectionaries. Ooh, you really make it sound like fun. Oh, it is fun. And then people will like me because I'm the one who brought candy to the mosque. All right. You have my approval. Good, because the truck is coming today. That's good. You anticipated my orders because I'm the charismatic leader. The what? You know, from before. I wasn't listening. Check it out. Fish. Wow. Did you catch those? No, I bought them at the market and took them down to the water to pose with me. Why would you do that? Did you eat them? No, it's not about the eating, it's about the thrill of the hunt. Kind of like coming in here and trying to get service. Maybe she is fishing. Of course she is. Like she said, we're too rinky-dink to worry about. Of course she would say that. What do you mean? She was laying it on a little thick. You know, you could be on to something, Fatima. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> but you're right. You know what she said? She said our mosque was too small to be a hotbed. She said that? We could be a hotbed. You alone could be a hotbed if she's a spy. Then shouldn't we go to the bathroom and run the water? Any flower pot could contain a microphone. What should we do? We have nothing to hide. We'll just take her to the mosque and show her we're not up to anything. Although, we easily could be. Her shoe probably contains a laser. What? If she's a spy, then everything she owns is something else. Her watch shoots darts. The buttons on her jacket, poison. You know, Bobber, that was a good idea you had about going to the bathroom and running the water. I'll go now. The tour's the way to go. Whenever we have a tour of the mosque, it turns into a disaster. That only happened three times. Be careful. She probably reads lips. <laughs> 